Right, this is my second attempt on making this video because the batteries died. I did not realise um, that the batteries are gone. This is an MFJ um, 8100K. Bought it on eBay 50 quid. Somebody had made it. An old guy that's actually died as a ham, same as me. And he's done a very, very good job of putting it together. Um, it was more or less a line. There's a couple of little things I've still got to touch up. Um, the knob was too long out here. The shaft had not been cut off to the right length. I did that. The trouble is that switch has got more than five positions. It says A, B, C, D and E. It's on E now. You go down the way and you get another four positions down. Uh, MFJ couldn't be bothered to get a proper switch for it. <laughs> Fancy having a switch that goes down four below it where it starts is ridiculous. And I say B, C, D, E. And then you've got one. That's E there. In fact, I have a feel. Yeah. Yeah, that's E, I believe. Yeah, if I remember that's C. So you've got three on one, two on another. It's ridiculous really to have a switch like that. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's what it is. It's regenerative. Um, what I'm going to do now is put it up the other way and then you'll be able to see what's inside it. It's actually been very well put together. Um, it's been soldered with um, unleaded solder by the look of it. I wouldn't use that green solder, it's not very good. Um, I always use a 3% silver or 60-40. Um, you've got to use more heat for unleaded and it. it always looks like a dry joint to me. But there again, it doesn't look too bad. And um, and it doesn't have really more than one coil. The rest is just little inductors. Really, it needed a proper coil set for it. Uh, MFJ said, oh, it's a lot better than anything you made as a kid. That's bollocks, because I used to wind my own coils. Can't wind them now. I'm over, so I'm too clumsy now. But uh, it's LM380. You can't really, 384, you can't really run. Um anything more than a pair of headphones but if you've got a little outboard speaker and then you'll be able to do it but I enjoy using headphones I love using headphones and I'm a bit deaf so I prefer to use them anyway for shortwave this has two headphone sockets so you can have more than one person listening um, I set the trimmer um, on my generator and found my generator was off by a mile so what I did is I turned it on to 40 meters and I tuned this on 40 meters where the first station comes in on the broadcast band on 40 just over the 200. Um, so I went up to 200 and went down, heard the side band, went up a bit and when I heard the first station I set it just touching the line where it says uh, the 200, there's a little line after it, so it may be slightly out but the dial is only there, is a rough guide. You can't even really see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The only thing I really hate about it is that the battery is inside. So you have to undo one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to get at it, which is silly because it's just gonna eventually your the threads will be gone and it'll look a mess. It really needed the battery put somewhere else. I have a feeling about getting a battery box and putting a battery on the back. I haven't made up my mind yet what I'm actually going to do with that. And uh, as you say, it's all there. And um, I have been using it. And actually it works. It does work. Um, it's pretty lousy because it's only three transistors. There's no proper product detect or any filters or anything. Um, it really could have had a few more components and a lot better job done for very little extra money and it wouldn't have been that much more complicated you've got so much room here for extra things uh, they could have supplied really a proper set of ready made coils for it which would have been a lot better for it But and um, perhaps a trimmer for each one that would have easily made it better and some kind of preamp um, and a little bit more gain on the amplifier so you could run a speaker. That, that would have been a, a, a lot better. But anyway, that's what it is. And um, 
I think in this country they're £98. I don't know, that's quite a lot of money. But it's pretty well made. You get a case, you get a, a lid, uh, you've got a metal front, a metal case. One thing you've got to be careful about the metal front is that it's printed on bare metal and it's not lacquered or anything. So if you rub it, you're liable to rub the writing off and there's a little bit on here, it's a bit faint where the dial is. And that was caused by the dial pointer rubbing. Lucky it's not too bad, you can hardly see it. 695 and there's a bit of the 6 missing. It's a bit faint there, but the rest was fine. It's just where the needle went down and rubbed. So what I did is I took the needle and the knob off and put the needle up so it's quite high. Nearly a sixteenth of an inch off there. So it won't ever rub. I could probably, if I was really fussy, get another panel. But I'd probably um, say it was faulty and get a free panel. But I shan't bother with that. I mean, it does the job. Can't read the dial because it's too small and you don't. You know, you don't tend to read that anyway. Anyway, that's it. And um, the bottom of the case has got like rubber feet. It's an aluminium case. So it's, a, it's quite a nice little case. Quite a nice little uh, case. Uh, four feet on it. Comes as a kit, of course. The metal front. Um, it would have been nicer with a black front with white lettering. You know, a proper wet scene front would have been a lot nicer than this this front they've got on there it's easy to mark on if you're going to be fighting to rub it that you're going to wear the whiting off um, my suggestion is just to wipe it over with a cloth don't even put water on it nothing just give it a little wipe over it's a good project for people to do with their grandson or some amateur radio that hobbyists that just wants a little bit of night of home constructing Perhaps I would suggest somebody like a 2E0, uh, an intermediate ham license in this country. This would be enough for the practical of the 2E0. It's got inductors uh, and various things, all the bits you need to get you through your 2E0 at 98 quid. So, uh, and you've got something that's fairly useful uh, to muck around with after. And it all comes in a nice little box. So there you are, that's the MFJ, Made From Junk, M-A-I-D, Made, because they're made by ladies, I think, in, in America, uh, when I watched it, so, uh, the show from MFJ, it was all these ladies working away, so they had all these maids making things, so that it really was made by maids, whether it's junk, I wouldn't like to say, I think it's a good idea. I think they've got a good thing going, but I think making the circuit a bit more complex, there's plenty of room in there, and making it perform a little bit better. It doesn't have to be stellar, but it certainly could have an extra transistor, a bit more gain in the front end, a little bit more stable, and that battery inside, come on, you're going to have to undo the fucking screws every time you want to change the battery. That's ridiculous. Um, it needs some kind of battery box on the back or even something cut a cut hole in here and that nice battery things in there it's dark to have a battery on double sided on the board come on I uh, said so you're gonna have to take it apart and if you leave it on you'll think oh I can't be bothered to change the battery put it on the shelf and all the shit will leak out on the board uh, not a particularly clever idea uh, the regeneration's a bit touchy uh, they have improved that over the early models, but it's still a little bit, a little bit jittery. Anyway, I'll say 73 is from Radio World. Jeffrey, the amateur who's an Aspie. I don't mainly do this network radio now. I bought this really just as something to muck around with. And it, 50 quid, already built. Half price. It is new. The guy built it and apparently he became ill and he died. So it never even got used. So, I mean, it's uh, it had a battery marked to, to 2017 in it is when he built it. In fact, it might have been built before that. If batteries have two-year lifespan, it might have been made in 2015. It might have been made about four or five years ago. 
but it's in good nick and it's all there. So, muchas gracias, and um, I hope to put this up a bit later on. MFJ 8100K, made from junk. Raw band shortwave radio. Um, a good little powered speaker. There's all tap or tapping away again in there. If it isn't the phone, it's a brush tapping all the time. She not going to bed Sunday, she's still bleeding one, two in the morning. Uh, she's on the go all the time, she can't sit. But never mind, that's her. Good neighbour of mine, really good friend of mine. Uh, but she's just got bloody ants in her pants all the time. Anyway, 70-20s. But just grassy anus.